sure to find something to suit you. There's plenty of nasty creatures need slaying. Go and fight the Wasp Queen at the picnic area. Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. You've come to the right place. Wasps are attacking the picnic area! Follow me! Hurry! It's this way! Follow me! It's this way! Please! You've got to save my friends! for saving me. I'm going to tell everyone. Well, now, good enough to use the apologize expression. <laughs> Oh. 
Your bow may prove useful against the Wasp Queen. More Wasps have spawned, but they are no match for your weapon. Attack the Wasp Queen again. Remember, you can also use your willpowers against her. You've received a new quest card. <laughs> How's it hanging, Ranger? Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Come to the right place. should meet Maze. He's in the town. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor, your sister. 
I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Check the guild for more quests. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady. The one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> The little tyke's probably having the time of his life. I need four blue mushrooms to cook up a cure. The trader in Barrow Fields usually has a good supply. You'll probably see one of his mushrooms on his display table by the river. You won't have any trouble spotting anyone who has one, I'm sure. They'll be a bit, uh, distracted. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. Forgive me, I'm Mr. Gout, the headmaster of the school here. Not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Can you believe she sold half our library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable books you find on your travels, you'd be doing us a great favor. <laughs> mm, do you have a donation there, hero? Why, that's The Creatures of Albion, Volume 1. A, a perfect way to learn natural sciences. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now. Who here knows what screamers are? <laughs> I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy, too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, 
You'll soon end up like them. Screaming. <laughs> ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? <laughs> the story of Jack of Blades should keep the little ones in line. <laughs> Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Who's the red-robed warrior that brings death and destruction to all of Albion? Jack! Who's the legend in the mask with the strength of ten heroes? It's Jack! Who's the demon that stalks in the night, dragging bad children into hell? Jack! Some say that Jack of Blades has lived forever and is not of this world. But there are those who claim it is not Jack, but his mask that we should fear, and that many men have worn it over the centuries. Whatever the truth, he is not someone to be crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Got some books for me, Hero? And why don't you bring them round during school hours? Are you looking for blue mushrooms? Then you've come to the right place. Pretty popular items, I can tell you. I've only got one left now. Sold one to a trader near the guild, and then the other two. Let me think. Oh, yes. One went to a rather miserable woman, likes to hang around the picnic area. The other went to a fellow who said he was throwing a party in the guild woods. So, are you interested? Demand is high, supply is low, so I can't take anything less than 1,500 gold. Enjoy, my good man. Oh, you be <laughs> careful now. Mind you don't. <laughs> famous rain. This one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose, 
No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Don't go breaking any laws. Could you do me a massive favour? My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop-dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. I mean, she was a stunner. At least I think she was. But I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her in Oakvale. I must know how she feels. The suspense is killing me. Oh, one more thing. Don't try to pass the letter off as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Sword to fight beside you. Do you think I'm pretty? I met this man at a party in the Guild Woods who says I am. I think. I think he might be in love with me. You haven't spoken to him, have you? Oh, is this. is this from you? does love me. He says my eyes are like two glowing suns. I have to let him know I feel the same. Please, could you take this to him? Oh, I can't wait to tell Fiona about this.
really likes me. Oh, and I bet she's really beautiful. Have this for your trouble. I have no more need for intoxicants, for I have found love. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. <laughs> ah, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. again for a beating, eh? You know the setup. So, you want to fight or what? Not enough mushrooms. Bring me more. I need four blue mushrooms to cook up a cure. The trader in Barrow Fields usually has a good supply. You'll probably see one of his mushrooms on his display table by the river. You won't have any trouble spotting anyone who has one, I'm sure. They'll be a bit, uh, distracted. <laughs> I need four blue mushrooms to cook up a cure. The trader in Barrow Fields usually has a good supply. You'll probably... You won't have any trouble spotting anyone who has one, I'm sure. They'll be a bit, uh, distracted. <laughs>
going on walking? Why isn't he walking, strange looking man? Look, I ate the mushroom in it. They all said I'd laugh my knickers off if I ate it, and I like totally did. And like, I'm not. So far, it's a big zero of chuckles. Can you make me laugh? Come on. Like, in it, please. Yes, good. <laughs> These will be perfect. Uh, just give me a few hours and, uh... Well, what do you know? I've got some of the potion already. <laughs> Mind like a sieve, I tell you. I'll hang on to these mushrooms, if it's all the same to you. I'll just, um, uh, uh put them somewhere safe. <laughs> yes, uh, bye now. today. I still can't believe the old woman really helped us. I'll never join another witch-burning mob after this. We won't forget your kindness, hero. Good luck with your quests. You have reached recognized status. You're now renowned enough to use the manly arm pump expression. Mighty ranger there. I'm pleased to serve you.
My cousin says orchard. Ah, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. Any books for us today, hero? Oh, the other land looks like a charming story. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. <clears throat> Twas in the latter days of the kingdom old that a boatload of travelers, wheat and rice, being our land for fear of the sword, discovered an island that was true paradise. There were they welcomed by the native folk, with gifts of fruit and fowl and pig and trout, and a strange kind of ale brewed from egg yolk that the refugees drank till it knocked them out. Soon they were stirred from their peaceful slumbers by the splattery coughs of their gracious hosts, who had taken ill and were dying in numbers of colds their visitors had brought to their coasts. Ere long, the kindly natives were all but extinct, and as they knew not how to gather nature's bounty, the fate of the foreigners to theirs was linked. They died of starvation, Though surrounded by plenty, a few local survivors did their paradise rebuild, erecting this time a great fortress in the sand. It would stop them once more getting killed, lest those ba um, bad people from Albion return to their land. Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Why, this book would be perfect. I've yet to meet a child who isn't fascinated by dragons. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. <coughs> a long time ago, well before the age of the Old Kingdom, the skies of Albion were full of fearsome, majestic dragons. They flew wherever they wished, ate the people's livestock, rained down fire on their villages, and distressed their damsels. Then came the kingdom of Archon, 
and with it, heroes who hunted the dragons for sport, almost driving them to extinction. Before long, every home in Albion had dragon scale curtains, dragon claw back scratchers, and dragon foot paperweights. The few remaining dragons fled to the northern wastes, and there they remain to this day. Though they are nowhere near as powerful now as they once were, they still represent a hero's ultimate test. Wow, you're so Any strong. books for us today, hero? Oh, the children are always asking me about the arena. Oh, they love this. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Uh, how many of you have been to the Witchwood Arena? Ah, but have you ever stopped to look at the statues in the Hall of Heroes? Some of the greatest heroes in Albion's history are celebrated there. Mighty champions who conquered the arena and the people's hearts. In the days of the Old Kingdom, heroes would lead their fans into battles so they could see their skill and bravery in combat. But all too often, spectators would find themselves torn limb from limb by balverines, or caught in the backwash of a hero's spell. And so, the arena was built in Witchwood, to give heroes a permanent stage on which to fight their duels without endangering the audience. Creatures, are brought there from all over Albion for heroes to face. And the battles get more elaborate with every year that passes. But one rule remains unchanged. Should either hero wish it, the final battle between them can be fought to the death. What was a sissy like you oh, yeah. did? Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Hmm. A love story. How sweet. With a title like that, I'm sure this will be suitable for the children. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. The way of the warrior doth take its toll on a hero's face. And ere long, women will fly and escape before he can give chase. Scarred and dejected, a hero named Ralph stole all of the traders' riches. He made use of their gold and bought romantic gifts for all of the... the ladies. <laughs> the women of Albion fell at his feet, and Ralph had the pick of the town, till he finally chose a pretty young girl and bought her a fine wedding gown. But too late did he see that love that is true isn't founded on wealth. His wife's only care was for money and gems he kept up on the shelf. By way of divorce, Ralph exercised his axe on her head. This he did mount up on Yay! the wall, just over the bed. So did the woman sadly become the world's first trophy wife. And Ralph did give up the matrimonial for the hero's life. Please Got some books for me, hero? What? Why don't you bring them round during school hours?
Nicer now he's here. So you're going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your true calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy.
You trying to give me a heart attack or something? He'll be dead then. Good thing too. What a display of power. Yeah. Don't listen to what anybody else tells you. There he is. Rangers and... <laughs> 